A long time ago, in a small village in China, there lived a merchant and a farmer. The merchant expected himself to be well-known for being a wealthy man in their country, so he established a business that could generate so much profit. Every day, he would go to the farm, buy the farmer's produce in bulk, and sell them to the market. The merchant would talk to the farmer and promise that he would always come back to get the harvests. The farmer would have sales every day without having to deliver his goods to the market. The merchant buys the crops and fruits and then sells them for double the price. He boasts about how fresh his products are and spreads gossip about his competitors. Thanks to his dirty marketing skills, sales skyrocketed, but as the weeks went by, the merchant found that his customers were not dropping by like they usually did. His profits continue to drop and his goal to be wealthy is getting out of reach. He decided to find the reason for his economic situation. As he continues to investigate, he discovers that his customers are not going to his store, but directly to the farm. People found out how overpriced his products are. Furious, he went to the farmer and made a confrontation. He asked the farmer, why do you have to do this? Didn't we make a promise to each other? The farmer calmly explained, it was not my intention for them to come here, but your past competitor told your customers where your supplier is. The merchant could not say anything in return. He knew that he could not blame the farmer. Despite his efforts to market his products and his hard work to haul the heavy produce, customers still chose to go to the farm. The farmer who made no marketing strategies and made no efforts profited a lot in the end. The merchant found it unfair. How could his effort be rewarded with nothing? Why do those without goals receive the income they could only dream of? But then the farmer looked up to him. As Lao Tzu once said, those who try to outshine others dim their own light. Those who call themselves righteous can't know how wrong they are. Those who boast of their accomplishments diminish the things they have done. In this life, sometimes we are merchant. We work so hard to achieve our goals. We strategize. We make an effort. We give our all to reach something. But then we still struggle and see somebody else as if everything was too easy for them. We know they did not cheat to get there, but somehow we are baffled by life's unfairness. We keep on wondering what we did wrong that they did right. If you're also wondering about that, the answer is right here. The law of reversed effort is a fascinating idea. The law states that our chances of achieving a goal decrease the more we chase it. The story shows that we unconsciously impede our progress if we focus on chasing money. Instead, we need to focus on providing value to others. Economist John Kay refers to a concept he labels the profit-seeking paradox in his work Obliquity, why our goals are best achieved indirectly. He states that those with the most remarkable growth typically have set goals unrelated to profit. Their increasing profits are just a byproduct of other objectives. It's good to note that the rule of reversed effort does not indicate that effort is insignificant or that we should avoid trying. Instead, it suggests we must not always put too much pressure on ourselves to reach our destination. How to use the law of reversed effort. Stop focusing too much on the outcome. Oftentimes, when we set a goal, we give too much thought to what we can achieve. As our minds are too focused on the future, we usually forget the part where we must fully immerse ourselves in the process. We can only reach the top if we grow gradually. We should be fit enough to reach what we've set our eyes on. The law of reversed effort reminds us to consider some more somber realities. Not everything goes according to plan. Unfortunate events occur. Rivals attempt to counter our actions. Markets fluctuate. We obstruct ourselves by trying to do too much, and so forth. The goal of getting rich quickly may not happen, but here's the thing. If you enjoyed the process of getting there, you may not be rich in money, but you'll become rich in experience. Although we may not always control the results, action is always in our hands. How you are as a person matters more than what you want. In the long run, committing time and energy to what skills you can learn that provide value is more beneficial. Becoming a professional who continuously dedicates time and effort to learning is better than obtaining an additional certification or degree. Take a detour. The famed investor Charlie Munger has been quoted saying, think forwards and backwards, invert, always invert. This straightforward yet effective idea could provide amazing realizations and valuable life lessons. 
When making decisions, we should also consider inversion. It involves flipping the problem, emphasizing what we should not do rather than what we should do. Charlie Munger pointed out that inversion forces us to view issues differently. Looking at things beyond our current perspective frequently reveals answers and hidden ideas that were not obvious to us before. By changing how we think, we can avoid frequent mistakes that impede our advancement. We may develop a mentality that improves our problem-solving and decision-making ability. We can predict risks and make better decisions by starting with the worst-case scenario and working backward. For example, we can think about how our goals could go wrong in the process and then make an extra effort to do something better to avoid it. This method aids in pinpointing the don'ts. Thus, we limit the chances of being wrong. Benefits of the Law of Reversed Effort Freedom Ironically, our never-ending quest for greater freedom restricts us in many ways. We must say no to things that are not beneficial to our growth. Sometimes we take on too many tasks, thinking it would make others feel we are working hard and earn praise or promotion. We end up disorganized because we are trying to force things out. Confidence The more we strive to feel confident, the more anxious and insecure we become. Accepting our imperfections will help us feel more comfortable with who we are. In our pursuit of feeling poised and unfazed, sometimes we can look like we are trying too hard. People who are really confident know how to be themselves and they don't need to practice other personalities just to be called confident. Be comfortable in your own way. Love We receive less love and acceptance as we force others to give these things to us. Ever notice that the more we try to win a person's approval, the more distant they seem? It's because love is given freely and we must not try too hard to get it. Those who appreciate you will simply gravitate toward you. That's what the law of reversed effort can do. This reminds us of the story of the merchant and the farmer. The latter did not even advertise what he was selling. The people came to him simply because it was worth every penny. On the other hand, the merchant spent a fortune on marketing and he needed to raise the price so much to regain the money spent. How about you? Would you rather start with unrealistic expectations like the merchant? Or would you like to be the farmer who became wealthy without expecting anything but provided great value to the community? Think about it. That's it, friends. Did you relate to the law of reversed effort? Tell us about it below. This has been the Wisdom of Sages. Remember, the journey of seeking wisdom is never-ending.